Our story begins in a small, quiet town where a man named Jim has a pressing dilemma. No, I can't. I can't go back to the library. It's a book, Jim. You borrowed it three months ago. Just return it. But you don't understand. The librarian, she's terrifying. Last time, she said I'd face the consequences. What does that even mean? I don't know. Probably just a fine. Man, now, come on. Stop worrying so much and take the book back. It's all going to be fine. Against all odds and after a lot of whining, Jim finally makes his way to the library. But things aren't as simple as they seem. I can do this. I'll just... I'll just slip it onto the bookshelf real quick then be on my way. Hello, Jim. Ah, holy chicken balls. Oh, um, hi there. I was just admiring the lovely books on the shelf over there. Three months overdue, Jim. You know what that means. Ah, uh, a small fine. Oh, Jim, it's way past that. It's time for you to face the library consequences. I knew it. I knew this was a trap. Jim is led to the library's basement, where he is about to face the library consequences. Mwahahahaha. <laughs> for books overdue by two months, the consequence is reading the complete history of staplers. Out loud. I'll never survive that. Also, what is my consequence? You must shelve books for two hours. Shelving for for two hours. That's madness. Our hero is sent to the shelving area where he meets other unfortunate souls who share his fate. So, what are you in for? Returned a book a week late. They made me dust the dictionaries. In alphabetical order. This place. This place is worse than I ever imagined. After two long hours, Jim escapes the library, scarred but wiser. Come back here. You still have to dust all the Lord of the Rings books in order. Come back at once. I made it. I survived. And I'll never, never forget this day, ever. And so Jim was safe from the evils of the library. As from this day, Jim vowed to never return to the library ever again. You know, I think I'll just stick to reading e-books.